Dr. B. P. Singh, a cardiologist, was shot dead here in Lucknow, India, while taking a morning stroll last April. Federal police are trying to determine how Dr. Singh's murder fits into the systematic corruption that plagues India. The investigation comes amidst widespread anti-corruption protests in India's capital, Delhi. Middle-class Indians here are fed up with graft and demanding an independent agency to investigate and clean up the government, the legislature and the judiciary. Uttar Pradesh, where Dr. Singh was killed, is one of the poorest and most corrupt states in India. His murder is just one of three unsolved killings of top medical officers here. At the time of his death, Dr. Singh, like the others, was in charge of doling out millions of dollars in federal health care funds. From our discussion with him at home, there were several discrepancies which he was trying to investigate. And it was because of these departmental corruption problems that he was murdered. Police do know the first two murders were linked because both men were shot with the same gun. Then in June, Dr. Wyas Sachan, the replacement healthcare administrator, was arrested as a suspect. He was later found stabbed to death in jail. The incident happened on the 22nd of June, and he was supposed to appear in court the next day. They realized that he would testify in court and name the people who were actually involved, which is why he was murdered on the 22nd in a planned way. Politicians, they have taken the money, major share. Which politician has taken? I can't say. Dr. Sachan's brother was unwilling to name anyone. Dr. Sachan's widow said her husband feared for his life. There really wasn't very much to discuss. Later, when he was suddenly arrested, that's when he felt that he had been framed. This overwhelmed rural clinic is an example of where some of the health care money was supposed to have gone. Despite a $700,000 budget to upgrade the dismal facilities, a new clinic sits unfinished, eight months after the promised deadline. The contractors were paid in advance, but now there is no running water in the delivery ward, supplies are scarce, and some health workers are still waiting to be paid. Midwife and caretaker Jagmati has worked at the clinic for more than 15 years, earning 200 rupees, less than $5 a month. She hasn't been paid in the last four years. What is 200 rupees? You can't talk to any administrator. If you bring it up, they say your budget hasn't been cleared yet. If an administrator doesn't get paid in two months, then they kick up a fuss. But we're poor, aren't we? We've suffered the past four years. A few rupees here or there, it's money, isn't it? Family members of the dead doctors say they have suffered as well. They are hopeful that the federal investigation will provide some answers and bring those responsible for the murders to justice. After this inquiry, at least a picture will become clear about who is involved and who is not. The truth will come out and then the culprits will be behind bars and then the trial will go on. The federal investigation is continuing, but in the meantime, the neediest are still waiting for better medical care. For The New York Times, this is Po Si Tang in Lucknow, Uttar Pradesh.